Hey, in this movie, I'm just going to give you some quick tips for using Massive X's performer to create this modulated bass line. To begin with, then, I've got my Start Banana preset, which is just the default patch that I've changed to a banana wavetable with a bit of gorilla shaping applied. And you can hear it's got a bit of rhythmic movement going on with LFO4, which is uh, changing the overdial here. And what I want to do next is apply some shaping to this frequency control here. Using one of the performers, which you can access just by clicking on P1 here. To assign any of these modulators to a control, you just click and drag like so. And then bring the control down and bring the modulation amount up. Well, I'm just clicking on P there and then dragging up and down to do that. So if I set the range to max here, now we can draw a curve here and then it will modulate this control up and down. First though, I'm just going to change the length by clicking and dragging at the top. So it's just a bar long and then zoom in by dragging the bottom. Next up, I want to set the grid timing and I just want to create a quaver pattern here. So we've got two modulations each beat. So staying on 4-4, which is pretty much what you always want to do. I'll just click on that first switch there. And then you can see we've got two slots per beat. And now I can just select the curve that I want. In this case, I'm just going to have a downward slope and then just click anywhere on the grid. I'm not hearing anything yet because I'm not actually playing my project. It's free running, as you can see. Uh, and when I start my project, it'll then play notes into it and then shape it accordingly. I could now change the curve on a few of the steps, maybe to have it going the other way. As you can see, if I click and drag on the curve itself, then it changes the slope. Now, the only issue with it free running like this is that if I turn on the metronome, you'll hear. As I'm restarting the project, then you can see it starts at a different position through my pattern. So the way I synchronize it is by going to the remote octave settings area. Now, don't worry too much about what that is for now. It's just means that you can create lots of different patterns, uh, which you can then trigger using different notes on the keyboard. But just sticking to the first pattern here, all I need to do is to change the launch setting here, which at the moment is remote. If I change it to key, now you can hear it's re-triggering with my notes. So if I add some beats, and if I maybe add a bit of dimension expansion to it. Then it's really coming together. This bass is one of a collection of free presets that we're giving away to Produce Tech members this week with the membership giving you not just access to all our courses, but also weekly freebies in the form of bonus tutorials, downloads and live webinars. 
For more information, go to producertech.com and then click become a member to see more details of the All Access membership and start the free 14-day trial.